Hello, Gary Caney here. I have a question for you. What type of apple does your blog represent? Now this is kind of a funny story because the other day me and my partner were walking over the farmers market to buy some fresh fruit and produce. And we were looking at a display of apples, all different types. So the vendor, seeing us looking, asked what type of apple do we like? sweet, sour, etc. So we said sweet. So she picks an apple from, from the group and says, what about this? Well, the apple was unattractive. It was brown. It looked like an overripe pear. So of course we wouldn't have chosen that. We wouldn't have bought that apple. So she offered us a free sample. It's called a russet apple. So we took a bite, we looked at each other, we both loved it. It was juicy, delightful inside. You never could have told by the outside appearance. So we bought a dozen. And on the way home I started thinking, you know, there's a lot of blogs that I've visited. They're just like this apple. They weren't attractive for first impression when you first arrived on the site but once you looked into it a little bit more they had value, they had content you left with some valuable information and on the other hand I've arrived on sites that look very attractive first glance you're wow but did you find what you're looking for? were you satisfied? No, I wasn't. So I left to went look somewhere else. So this brings up the question: What type of apple does your blog represent? Are you given value? Are you given content? Are you helping your visitors? Keep this in mind next time you try to redesign your blog. Looks are not everything. Always offer value. Remember to return to GaryCaney.com for more informative videos and blog posts. See you soon.